Hi guys, Mulos here. So today's video, I'm just going to talk about transacting cryptocurrency in Zambia. The three methods that I use. So there are three plat main platforms that I use to transact cryptocurrency. The first one is Yellow Card. So the thing with Yellow Card is that it's the most Zambianized of the platforms. It actually allows you to deposit using a local bank transfer and you can also withdraw via local bank transfer. You can also deposit using uh, mobile money. Uh, terms and conditions apply on that because you have to put the reference, your yellow card account number as the reference. If you don't know how to put reference, narration or description, please do not use mobile money to deposit. So they have got localized offices in Ghana, Nigeria, Cameroon, Uganda, uh, Kenya, Tanzania, Zambia, Botswana, and South Africa. So having localized operations mean that they are able to accept local payment platforms and the likes. And also with Yellow Card, it's the only platform of all the platforms I use that actually accepts uh, ID verification using NRC driver's license. Because the other platforms, they don't have localized Zambian offices, so they don't accept Zambian IDs except passport all of them accept passport but only yellow card accepts driver's license and uh, nrc the next platform i use is binance so binance is a good platform um, i'm able to deposit using some zambian cards it doesn't accept all uh, for instance i cannot use my zazu card on binance um, i can use my atlas mara prepaid card on binance uh, sometimes it accepts, sometimes it rejects my uh, UBA prepaid card and there are a number of other Zambian cards it has rejected of mine, but it does accept uh, my FNB. So I'm able to deposit and uh, purchase crypto using Binance. Then it also has a peer-to-peer -peer platform where you are able to uh, exchange crypto for electronic payment platforms or buy crypto from electronic payment platforms. Next platform is uh, CEXIO. So CEX is a great platform. It does accept some Zambian cards. I'm able to use Zazu. So I can deposit, purchase, and transact using my Zazu, but I cannot withdraw to Zazu because Zazu is a MasterCard and CEX does not support withdrawals to MasterCard uh, as at now. Um, it rejects my, my Atlas Mara prepaid card, which I can use on Binance. Um, Sometimes it accepts, sometimes it rejects my UBA prepaid card, and it also accepts my FNB. So basically, these platforms can accept or reject your cards at will. So if it, your card is rejected, it's got nothing to do with your bank or Zambian banking systems and all. It's just the, uh, the, 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 the platform has just rejected them for their own internal reasons. Now, when it comes to crypto apps, my top three are here. I do have a Binance app, CX app, and Yellow Card app. So I do use the apps as well. So the Yellow Card app is a simple interface. You can deposit by Quacha, withdraw by Quacha. Uh, there's a Zambian Quacha uh, wallet, a Bitcoin wallet. And on request, you can get an Ethereum wallet or a USDT wallet, only on request. These are the only four that this platform uh, accepts. When it comes to Binance, you've got many, many more options. Um, and when it comes to wallets, you've got the widest range of wallets. So you can basically transact all these cryptocurrencies. So those are all the cryptocurrencies that you can transact on Binance. When, you, when it comes to CEXIO, uh, it's got other options, quite a number of options. And on wallets, it's got uh, just a few dozen. These are the cryptos that you can transact. Not as many as Binance, but uh, there is a good number. Then when it comes to the other platforms I use, I do use Paxful for peer-to-peer -peer trading from time to time. Luno, when I'm transacting with someone with a Luno account. Spectrocoin, I've not yet used. Cryptarium, I used to use a lot because it used to accept withdrawals to Zazu card, uh, which would just take a couple of hours or minutes to reflect. But since they stopped supporting Zambian cards, it's pointless to use. I also use Coinbase. And also just to note, I'm not a crypto expert. I'm just someone who uses a lot of crypto. Uh, I, I'm just someone who does a lot of crypto transacting in Zambia. And people just generally like to ask me questions about crypto. Some like to purchase, ask me to purchase crypto on their behalf. Some ask me to withdraw crypto on their behalf into 
uh, fiat currency. So I'm not an expert. I'm just a heavy user of crypto platforms. So let's begin. We'll start with a yellow card, then we'll go on to CEX, then we'll go on to Binance. I'll explain uh, the common things of depositing, withdrawing, transacting, how to avoid hefty fees and all. And I hope this video will be helpful. Please do subscribe, like, and leave me comments down below which platforms you use for crypto and uh, how you transact crypto, any problems or challenges you have with crypto. And let's get the discussion rolling. But in the meantime, let me start with yellow card. Okay, so I'm going to start with the yellow card uh, platform. So yellow card, like I've said, is the easiest platform to set up, trade, transact cryptocurrency in Zambia because it's a Zambianized platform. They've got a Zambia office, so they accept transfers by uh, from Zambian banks. Uh, they also accept mobile money transfers. Terms and conditions apply there. I'll show you with a demonstration using Airtel money. You can buy cryptocurrency, sell cryptocurrency, and by default, you get a Zambian Quacha wallet and a Bitcoin wallet. You need to request an Ethereum wallet, and you also need to request a USDT wallet if you want to use those two. So these are the these are the four these are the only four wallets you have: Quacha, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and USDT. If you want to be transacting on their platform, if you click here on Wallet, it's going to bring you to this page where you have all your wallets: your Zambian Quacha, you can deposit, withdraw; your Bitcoin wallet, you can buy, sell, send, receive. Your Ethereum wallet, you can buy, sell, send, receive. Same with uh, USDT. You can buy USDT, sell USDT, send USDT, receive USDT. And then here, if you click on history, you are going to have uh, your entire history here. So right now, I've received uh, this money from uh, from my, uh, what you call this, from um, CX. So the value is about $14.89. Um, if you add $7 to this, you're going to get $21, $21 So um, I sent $23 from uh, Binance and uh, it's come as $14.89, which is a loss of maybe just $1. I'll show you later in this video in the Binance section how I sent this and uh, that this that I've received the exact amount that I was expecting from uh, Binance. Then here, you know, I've done some purchases, I've done some what. Uh, you see that I have actually done quite a number of transactions using Yellow Card. Um, I just started using it recently and uh, it's been convenient because uh, CEX no longer accepts withdrawals to my Zambian USD card from UBA. So I figured I might as well use Yellow Card. And so far, so good. So if I get back to the wallets, and uh, let's say I needed to convert this Ethereum, which I have. Let me click on Ethereum. So I've got uh, $25 worth of Ethereum, 25.60. And let's say I want to convert this into Quacha. I can simply just come here under sell. Under sell, I can put in the amount I want to sell. Let me put in the max. So it automatically puts in the max. And... Uh, it's going to come to 581.12 quacha. If I review and confirm, sell Ethereum. So there are no fees for selling. I'll sell Ethereum for 581 quacha. Okay, so I've sold Ethereum. All right, so now this has moved from my Ethereum wallet, which is now zero. It's gone to my quacha wallet, which is 581. So uh, I'm going to withdraw most of this, but let's just see what happens if you actually want to buy cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. So here I can click on this. I can come down here, buy. Let me just, let's try and see what the minimum amount you can buy is. Let's try with 10 quacha. The minimum amount is like 22.59. 22.59. 22.59. Two point five nine. Okay, so I'm buying twenty two point five nine worth of Bitcoin, which is going to come to this much. It's about ninety cents, eighty cents, ninety cents, I think. That I'm going to preview and confirm. And uh, here I've paid. All right, so I have purchased uh, that much Bitcoin, uh, which is like one dollar four cents. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. But anyways, um, I need to withdraw this to my bank. So I'll come back here to Quacha, click on that. Then if I come here to withdraw, 
I need to select my bank. This is my Stanbic bank. I've got a Stanbic account. Uh, click on that. I'm sending the maximum amount and I'm going to review and confirm. Um, so there's a fee of 15 kwacha. So please bear that in mind. There's a fee of 15 kwacha. So I need to go back and put this minus 15 kwacha, which is uh, 5, 543. So here, let me just change this to 543. I forgot about the 15 kwacha. So I'll review and confirm. Put in my pin. I've put in my my pin and withdraw, and uh, your submitted withdraw for 543 successfully. Kindly wait while we confirm your withdrawal. So this withdraw is going to be sent by local bank transfer. It's anywhere from same day to two or three days later. So just exercise some patience. Remember that it's a local Zambian bank transfer. The funds will come. Now, like I said, if you are sending using Airtel Money or MTN Money, uh, you can just use the app. Uh, I'll use the app for demonstrative purposes. I'll go to Airtel Money. And while here, you can go under Send Money. You can go to Banks. You can choose Stanbic Bank. And here, you're going to put in a uh, phone number. You can use your phone number, any 097 phone number. Then here, you're going to put in Beneficiary Account Number, Beneficiary Account Number. And uh, on top here, Beneficiary Name, which is Yellow Card, blah, blah, blah. Now here, under Comments, this is where you are going to put in your yellow card account number, which is your phone number. So put in the phone number linked to your yellow card, uh, 260-977, blah, 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 blah. So that when they receive the funds from the bank, they will know that these funds are for you, for your yellow card account number that, and they're going to apply the funds to your account. So if you're using mobile money, whether star 778 hash, star 303 hash, make sure to put in your yellow card account number as the reference description or narration and you will get the funds if you don't put that you might not get the funds and this is how i use my yellow card so now i'm going to show you binance and cexio okay so i am going to touch on cexio uh, this is a very very good platform that i use to transact cryptocurrency on a very very regular basis um, uh, you're able to transact most cryptocurrencies Okay, not most. You are able to transact a lot. If I just come here under under CXIO Finance, you'll be able to see all the cryptocurrencies that one can transact. So these are all the, the pairs, dollar, euro, pound, ruble, and all these other cryptocurrencies. There are a couple dozen, I think, and uh, you can transact all of them. It also has a great app. I'm going to show you the app, or let me just show you the app. Okay, so this is the app. And uh, just one thing to note, uh, CX accepts the Zazu MasterCard. Um, there are a lot of Zambian cards it rejects, but some of the ones it accepts is the Zazu MasterCard. Just thought I would mention that. So here on the app, you can come here to wallets. Wallets, you're going to see all the cryptos that you can, you can buy, sell, trade. Uh, it's called an exchange. Uh, you can exchange from one crypto to another. You can trade a uh, number of crypto pairs against Bitcoin, against dollar, against euro, against pound, ruble, and all. Then under profile, if you're using the app, I prefer to use the app. Under profile, card manager, you are able to add cards you're going to be using. So here I've got UBA, dollar prepaid, uh, FNB. This is the Atlas Mara Euro a prepaid card and this is the zazu card later but let me just click on add so adding card you just put the card number you just put the card number and expiry date okay once you put the card and expiry date proceed it'll do its thing and uh just like that you've linked your card the only way you know whether you can actually use the card is when you try to actually use the card you can then click on next uh cx allows withdrawals two cards but uh mastercard is currently disabled all mastercard i'm not saying zazu mastercard i am saying all mastercard in case you try to withdraw um the fees are a little bit on the high side like, like let's say you put in a hundred dollars if you put in a hundred dollars you're going to receive a net of uh, 98.50 if it's a thousand dollars you're going to receive a, a net of $970 because it'll be a 26.20 uh, service fee, the 2.5% fee plus uh, one 
dollar twenty cents and a three dollar eighty cent uh, uh, commission. So this is how you can withdraw. I used to withdraw to my UBA prepaid card, but of late it has been failing. Now let me show you when you want to deposit. If you go on buy sell or even here on deposit, uh, the, the rates are going to be the same. So I'm just going to come here on deposit. Uh, so I need to purchase $150 for somebody and uh, you'll see that uh, the fee, the commission is going to come to $4.63. So this is how much it's going to cost me to deposit into CEX. There's going to be a commission here of 2.99%. Uh, That's when, when you're depositing by card. If you're depositing by uh other these other payment platforms like advance cash and epay there's no commission the rest they might have some varying commissions so later on i'm going to send some crypto 150 dollars worth of crypto from binance to uh, uh cex i need to send that to somebody so i'll show you how that one is done as well okay so uh what i'm going to do now I've received the Litecoin in my Litecoin wallet and I need to send it out to somebody. So I'm just going to click on Litecoin. The deposit is there. I'm going to click on withdraw. I'm going to put in the wallet. It's not going to my Mulo's uh, Binance. So it's coming to a new address. I'll add the new address. Okay, so I've added the wallet. I've added, given it a name. I'm going to say done. Then here the uh, Litecoin, I'm going to put the amount. So I've put in the amount and then I'm going to withdraw. Oh, I forgot to tap the, the this. I'm going to click withdraw. Okay, so the withdrawal is in process and the recipient should receive it in a few minutes. The commission has been 0 0.001, which is really, really low, and they should receive it in a matter of minutes. So if I go back to my wallet, you see here that Litecoin is at zero because the withdrawal is pending. So it will probably take a couple of minutes or so for this to be sent to the recipient. So sometimes CX withdrawals do take long uh, compared to Binance and compared to the other platforms, but the, the funds will be sent and will be reached. Okay, so the next platform is Binance. So Binance, I use it quite a bit, a really, really great platform, but it's got two issues. One, it rejects a lot of Zambian cards. Even the uh, Zazu MasterCard, it has rejected. It's rejected uh, some of my UBA prepaid cards before. It's rejected quite a number of my cards. So they are really, really picky on which cards work. Um, and uh, if you want to see the type of cryptocurrencies you can transact on, on uh, this, they are quite a lot. So right now I've got $23 worth of crypto in here. If I click on there, you'll be able to see all, these are all the cryptos you can transact. It goes on up to 25 pages. Let me show you better using the app. So this is the Binance app. And uh, if you come here, you can actually do quite a bit. You can, you can view the markets against BNP, against BTC, against all these. Uh, you can come here to trades where you can do some trades. You can also come to futures and uh, here on wallets. These are, if I go to spot, these are all the wallets you can have. There are literally, I think, hundreds of cryptos that you can have in Binance. Binance has got the most cryptos uh, of all the platforms that I use. So you see, I haven't even reached the bottom. I think there's a hundred plus in here. I've never really checked the total number. Yeah, so these are all the ones that you can transact. All right, so back here, I'm going to buy crypto. So I'm going to come in to buy crypto against a credit debit card. So I need I need to buy, I need to buy, let me just confirm the amount. I need to buy $210 worth of crypto. So here, if you're doing against dollar, you find here 210, uh, the commission, okay, let me just put here USDT. You try and see. Okay, so if you're buying $210 worth of uh, crypto against USD, it's going to come to 208.9. If you click on the next, um, you click on continue. Okay, so for $210, you are going to receive 202.74 uh, USDT. So USDT is one to one to the dollar. So the total commission is going to come to it's going to come to how much? 
that is uh, 7.26 so it's going to be 7.26 in uh, fees and all so i'll just simply go back go back then here i'm going to change this to euro i'm going to change that to euro um and here if i want 210 Okay, so for 210 euros, if I click on next, and uh, I'm going to change the card, I'm going to change the card to my euro card, confirm, then I'm going to click on next. So you see here, uh, the commission, they've added on uh, about three, three euros. They've added on about three euros so it should work out cheaper i think okay so the order is still processing it should be done i can probably verify with the app okay so here you can see that uh, there's a uh, 233 dollars in here so my balance it has been instant and i've been topped up so we are good to go now the next thing i need to do is um, i need to send 150 dollars worth of litecoin to uh, cx so to do that, the first thing I need to do is to purchase uh, the said Litecoin. So I'm going to come here to markets. I'm going to come here against fiat. I'm going to look for Litecoin. Or I can just search here LTC. Uh, okay, there's LTC. So LTC against USD. LTC against USD, I'm going to buy. And uh, I'm going to buy the market. I need to change from limit to market. I'm going to put in the amount of USDT, which is $150. So once I've put that in, I've got the LTC. I can buy. It's been bought. If I go back to my wallets, they're going to see here that I've got LTC 149.81. Okay, so I've got 141.81 next thing i'm going to do is just come back here i'm going to go to wallets overview okay so one thing which i just forgot to mention um uh last time i was sending litecoin to cex it took a bit of time so let me just send uh, stellar lunems so the ones which are affordable to send there's litecoin stellar lunems and ripple those are the three that i use the most for sending from one wallet to another if i want them fast but anyway, let's just try Let's just try it with Litecoin. Maybe it will be fast. I'm sending this to CX. Sorry about that. Just going back here. So I'm going to clicking on that. I'm going to select uh, Litecoin, withdraw. And here, Litecoin uh, address book. I think I already saved my I already saved my uh, CX wallet, so it's already saved. I'm sending the maximum, which is about that much. And I, you see here that the fee, the withdrawal fees are really, really small. So I'm sending this much and I'm going to receive this much. So let me just click on withdraw. Continue. So these guys send you a code by SMS, a code by email, and you need to also check your Google Authenticator. So there's like three codes you have to put in. So that's a, it's quite irritating, but it's actually for your own for your own benefit and safety. Okay, so I've sent. It's going to get approved just now. All right, so complete. All right, so the funds have been sent to my CX wallet. So we'll just give it a couple of minutes, and uh, we shall check on it again. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to buy. Uh, another type of crypto i'm going to buy litecoin and another type of crypto with my uh, binance wallet okay so back to my uh, wallet you see that the litecoin hasn't yet been uh, transmitted so my balance is going to show that much litecoin i've got 150.11 balance this is probably due to uh, to the rate is always fluctuating and then here on USDT, I've got uh, 83.00. So what I'm going to do is I need to trade. So you can come here under trade, uh, view classic, or you can click here on trade. But I prefer to come here under classic. 
I'm going to buy $23 worth of, uh, worth of uh, Ethereum, which I'm going to send over to my, to my uh, yellow card. So here you can just choose what you're looking for. I'm looking for ETC, ETC USDT. You'll notice that there's no US dollar. There's Euro. There's uh, against other cryptos, including Pound, Real, and all those. And I'm using USDT. One USDT is one to one to the dollar. So Ethereum USDT, it comes here. I simply scroll down. Then here, the price is set. I'm just going to make sure that it's market. I'm clicking on market. Um, so how much Ethereum am I buying? I need to put in the USDT. So for 23 USDT, I'm going to buy Ethereum. So the transaction has been done. Then the other one, let me just confirm what uh, my client wanted me to get. He wanted me to send uh, uh, BUSD. Okay, so here, let me just check BUSD. BUSD against USDT. I'm going to scroll down here, still on market. Uh, I'm buying for, it's going to show me what my maximum USDT is. So I think I've got about 80 US, I've got 60 USDT. I've got 60 USDT. I'm just trying to see where, oh, here's my uh, USDT balance. So I can buy for 60.0551476.0, okay, up to seven. Then I'll buy you, I'll buy BUSD. Okay, so the BUSD has been purchased. If I go back to my wallet, I am now going to, I'm now going to come, uh, here so you see that i've got a busd 60 dollars and i've got uh, ethereum which is uh, uh this much so now let me just show you something which i should have shown uh the transfer or the tran the burning fees gas fees and all for litecoin um the sending fees if you choose the networks you see that they are all in the in the about 13 cents it's going to cost you about 13 cents, no matter how much Litecoin you are sending. If you come to BUSD and click on withdraw, you see here that it's going to, the, the fees vary. There's uh, 49 cents, there's uh, zero if it's going to a BP20 uh, wallet and uh, $10 if it's going to an ERC20 wallet. So that's $10 in uh, sending fees. Then if you are sending BTC, which is Bitcoin, the fees are going to be uh, 14 cents if it's a BEP2 wallet. Few people use that. It's going to be 14 cents if it's a BEP20 wallet. Few people use that. It's going to be $19.67 if it's a BTC wallet, a normal Bitcoin wallet. Most people use this. So for whatever amount of Bitcoin you're sending, it's going to cost you $19.67 to send. That is extremely high. And if you're using an ERC20 wallet, it's going to be $16.22, which is also extremely high. So that's why I don't send Bitcoin from uh, anywhere to my yellow card wallet. Now, if you're sending uh, Ripple or XRP, and uh, we just check here the networks, you see that Ripple fees range from 14 cents, 14 cents, 16 cents. So Ripple is extremely cheap to send. The other cheap one to send is Bitcoin Cash. I don't know why that one is sending a BNB, sending BNB, uh, it's going to cost you either, oh sorry, this, uh, I don't use BNB, just realize I don't use BNB. The wallet I was actually looking for is uh, the Ethereum. So here's Ethereum, if we click on Ethereum, withdraw. So sending Ethereum, the withdrawal fees, Okay, I made one very, very simple mistake. I bought Ethereum Classic. I was actually supposed to buy ETH and not Ethereum Classic. So sometimes um, even I make mistakes. So I need to change this to, I need to convert. I can just convert it. Let me see here, ETC to ETH. 
Okay, so from um, ETC to ETH, I can click on max, uh, convert. Oh, so the maximum amount is that. So I actually do need to change my, uh, I can change this to uh, USDT. Sometimes mistakes are made. Okay, then I can convert that. And now I'm going to convert USDT to ETH. Sometimes mistakes are made. There are a number of Ethereum variants, and you should always make sure you are sending the correct one. So there we go. Okay, so it's done. I can, let me convert, and it's done. I'm just going to come here to Wallet, Overview, And we're going to click on uh, this. And we're going to now check the sending fees for Ethereum. Uh, this is ETH. So the burning fees or the gas fees, um, you see that uh, if it's a BEP wallet, it's going to be 14 cents. If it's a BEP 20, it's going to be 14 cents. And if it's an ERC 20, it's going to be 7.79. .79. So I am sending this to my uh, yellow card wallet so it's going to cost me 7.91 dollars to send and the last one i wanted to show you is usdt so usdt how, what are the fees for sending usdt from binance to other networks so there's a simple catch if it's a bep 20 it's one dollar if it's a bep 20 bsc wallet it's an 80 cents if it's an erc 20 wallet which is the type that yellow card has it's going to be ten dollars and if it's a trc20 it's going to be one dollar so normally i request people if i'm sending usdt i usually ask for the trc20 wallet because it's only going to cost one dollar to transmit versus ten dollars and uh between uh usdt and ethereum uh, ethereum is 7.7 .7 dollars to send to yellow card usdt is ten dollars to send to yellow card so I always go for the cheaper option, which is the Ethereum. So that's why I normally send Ethereum to my yellow card. Anyways, I hope you have seen all the fees and understand that uh, when you're sending crypto from one platform to another, there are going to be fees involved and fees incurred. Are you looking for a panty? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, looking at my balance, it has reduced. This simply implies that uh, the withdrawal was approved. Coming back here to my, uh, what do you call this? To my CEX, I'm just going to refresh the page. Once I refresh the page, you see here that I do have 1.0758184 uh, Litecoin. So I've been able to transmit from Binance to CEX in a matter of minutes. And uh, there, has, there has been negligible loss in uh, my cryptocurrency. So I've received this with minimal loss, less than a dollar. There should be some exchange loss here and there, but all in all, it will be less than one dollar. So coming back here to Binance, I'm now going to withdraw my BUSD and I'm going to send this to somebody. So BUSD, I'm going to do a withdrawal. Here, I'm just going to put in the address. Uh, once the address is done, there's also a memo. I'm going to put in the memo. And uh, here, the, what's the amount I'm sending is the maximum, which is uh, 60.06. Uh, okay, I converted some to Ethereum, so I'm going to also send Ethereum, I think. So here, I can withdraw. And uh, continue. So it's going to bring the same thing. I need to put in my code codes. And uh, so I've received an SMS, uh, 648505. Then what's the email? 451124. Then the Google Authenticator code. So, um, so it's, a, it's a complicated three factor authentication. I don't know if you can call it that. So once everything is there, I'll submit. Okay, so this is done. And uh, 
I can close that. All right, so now I'm going to send Ethereum to my yellow card wallet. If I go back, here I am, here's Ethereum. I'm going to click here on withdraw. I'll come here to my uh, yellow card wallet. I'm going to go to wallets. I'm going to come to Ethereum. I'm going to click receive. I'm going to copy the wallet. It's I copied. This is ETH. So always check the currency symbol. This is ETH. This is BTC. Always check them against. So here I'm going to paste. Once I tab, it's going to automatically pick the network. Oh, sorry, I, I need to pick the network. So I need to match this. It's an ETH, uh, it's an ERC20. So there's going to be $7.7 uh, $7 in fees. I'm going to click the max. And this is coming to 0 0.0674678. That's about $23. I'll click on withdraw. And I'll continue. Again, the usual code, code, get code, get code. Um, okay, so it's complete. It will probably take a couple of minutes to reach a uh, yellow card. Although I'm doing this last, you're going to see the yellow card portion first because I'll start with yellow card in this video.